What's going on everybody, C4 here and welcome back to the Madden 20 Ratings Prediction Series where today we're looking at a team that probably is going to be the most overpowered roster, overpowered team in Madden 20 and they've been the rebuild champs on YouTube for like three years now and that is the Cleveland Browns who I still think are probably going to dominate on YouTube because look, everyone on their team that's good is like well under the age of 30. So let's try to take a look at how this roster is going to shape up and be probably the thorn in everyone's side in franchise mode. So looking at quarterbacks, we're going to get Baker Mayfield, an 83 overall, probably a prime candidate to get one of those superstar X factors as well. Last season as a rookie, 3,700 passing yards, 27 touchdowns to 14 picks. Uh, you know, had an honest shout at getting offensive rookie of the year as well. I think it was going to be, you know, personally, I think they made the right decision going with Saquon Barkley. But Baker Mayfield was very close and easily number two in a tier of his own and uh, going to be a very annoying quarterback to go up against Madden or a very good quarterback to use depending on how you view the Browns. Jumping to the backfield, a stacked backfield, as stacked of a backfield as you're going to find in the National Football League. We got Kareem Hunt. 90 overall, depending on what you feel about him, on off the field in 11 games last season, 1,200 yards from scrimmage, 14 touchdowns. He would have played a full 16, still would have been one of the top five running backs in the National Football League. So regardless of what you think off the field, in terms of pure talent, he is really, really good. And then you throw in the fact Nick Chubb, one of the best young running backs in the National Football League. We're giving him an 84. He had almost 1,200 yards from scrimmage, 10 touchdowns last year, and he wasn't even starting the whole season. I think if you give him a full 16 games as a starter last year, he probably is closer to Saquon Barkley's final stats than a lot of people think. So you have him, and then you throw in Duke Johnson, one of the better receiving backs in the league, 630 yards of scrimmage, three touchdowns last season. Not only do you have an insane amount of talent back here, but if you're looking to trade for a running back in your franchise mode, look no further than the Cleveland Browns. At wide receiver, bringing over Odell Beckham Jr., where they sent over a first-round pick, and Jabril Peppers. I give him a 93 overall last season in 12 games, almost 1,100 yards from scrimmage, six total touchdowns. It's going to be annoying. I know you got a Baker Mayfield scramble, throw it up. Odell's going to be spectacular. Like, it's going to be the most annoying tandem, I think, in Madden 20, trying to stop against. And, you know, he probably is going to be another guy. Superstar X-Factor. you got Javis Landry, one of the better slot wide receivers, probably top five slot wide receiver in the league even probably, probably is top five slot wide receiver in the league. Last season, over 1,000 yards from scrimmage and five total touchdowns. He's an 85. We gave Callaway a 76. He almost had 600 yards and five touchdowns. Hollywood Higgins almost had 600 yards, four touchdowns. I think this is a really good wide receiver core from top to bottom. At tight end, David Njoku is going to get an 82 overall. You know, I think next year could very well with all that talent around him be his breakout season. Last year, though, as a sophomore, 56 catches, 640 yards, four touchdowns, fringe top 10 tight end in the National Football League. For the offensive line, we got Greg Robinson, 74. Joel Batonio, one of the best guards in the league, 87. J.C. Treader, very solid center, 81. Austin Corbett uh, and Chris Hubbard. Going to the defensive side, Olivier Vernon, who they also, did they, yeah, they got him in a trade from the Giants as well. We're giving him an 82 overall, better scheme fit going from the Giants 3-4 to the Browns 4-3. Uh, and then you got a, you know, his partner in crime is going to be Miles Garrett, who we gave a 91 overall last season. 13 and a half sacks, 12 TFLs, three forced fumbles, one of the best young edge rushers in a sim god, which I expect him to be in Madden 20. Probably another candidate for one of those superstar X-Factor traits. Inside, you got Sheldon Richardson, who came over as a free agent from the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, about an 81, still a really solid tackle. Uh, maybe he has kind of peaked with the Jets, but still really good. You got Larry Ogunjobi, one of the better young, up-and-coming, underrated D-tackles in the league. We gave him an 85 and a half sacks, 10 TFLs last season. Uh, Linebacking core, Gennard Avery is getting a 77. Gennard Avery, four and a half sacks, 40 tackles last season. Really, really good year out of Memphis. I mean, I don't know really how he slipped to the fifth round. He's one of the better linebackers in the, in the draft. Joe Schobert's going to get an 80 overall last season, 103 tackles, three sacks. We have Christian Kirksey getting a 77, very solid linebacker. Into the secondary, we got Denzel Ward, very good rookie season. I think Pro Football Focus had him as the number 12 ranked corner in the league. We're giving him an 86 overall last year. He had three interceptions, 11 pass breakups on 41 tackles. Just got to learn how to tackle a little better. Don't use your head. Uh, Carey and Mitch, I mean, you got some depth there, but I really do like the pickup of Greedy Williams. I'm giving him a 76. He was my top corner in the draft. Even though he went to the second round, I still think he will get a very nice rating in Madden 20. At free safety, we have Demarius Randall, who we're giving an 83 overall. Last season, four interceptions, nine pass breakups, and 85 tackles, salvaging his career. He's kind of a castaway from the Green Bay Packers. 
And uh, you know, I mean, Packers, I'm not going to lie, Green Bay has not made the best of roster decisions in the, over the last couple of years. Guys have decided to let go have gone on and had really, really productive careers in Demarius Randall, you know, very much like Casey Hayward, for example. And that secondary that the Packers spend so much assets trying to fix, they just keep losing all the guys that ended up being good. Maybe it's a question, you know, you start looking back on the Green Bay Packers. But that's the time for another video. Randall, really nice safety. Uh, you pair that with Morgan Burnett, another guy that kind of cast away from the Packers and had really good success elsewhere. Um, he's a 77. It's a, it's a, you know, a solid, strong safety. He's no Jabril Peppers. Obviously, he had to give up something good to get Odell, which they did in Jabril Peppers, who had his breakout year last season. But Burnett is more than fine enough to be a starter. We got Greg Joseph and Cyber, who's got a battle to be their kicker. And Burton Colquitt is a 79. So there you go, guys. Those are my predictions for the Cleveland Browns ratings in Madden 20. If you agree or disagree with any of the ratings, let me know in the comment section below. But I think we can all agree that they're going to be the most overpowered roster in Madden 20. And I'm not looking forward. Well, actually, hey. Usually, if I'm playing an Eagles franchise or something like that, I'm going to probably try to find a way to pick a team in the NFC. So I'm, a, I'm away from the Browns as much as possible, and we'll just see them in the Super Bowl every other year, if not every year. But uh, that does it for me today, guys. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out.